welcome back to Math with Jen. In this video, we are going to interpret the value of each place value position as 10 times the position to the right and as one tenth of the value of the place to its left. First, gonna go ahead and start off with that first piece of the standard. We are going to interpret the value of each place value position as 10 times the position to the right. Let's go through the place values one more time before we get started. Place values that we have for grade four, hundreds, tenths, ones, tens, hundred, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, and hundred millions. We're gonna be looking how the value of the seven in each place value is 10 times the position to the right. This is seven hundredths. So we write that as seven hundredths point zero seven. This place value is a tenth. It is ten times the position to its right. So that means the position to its right, it was seven hundredths. This is going to be ten times the value of the number to its right value is seven tenths. Okay, for this seven in the ones place, we're gonna take that seven tenths times 10 is seven. Okay, we're gonna keep going. The seven in this place value is worth 70. That is the seven, the place to its right, times 10 equals 70. Okay, so you're gonna see as we keep going, it is gonna be 10 times the value to its right. So this one is, we're gonna take the value of its right, which is 70 times 10. That gives us our next value of 700. Seven in the thousands place, taking that place to its right, multiplying it by 10, that is the 7,000. Okay, we're gonna keep going. This one is 70,000, which is the value of the seven to its right times 10. And that's your 70,000. Value of the digit to its right, 70,000 times 10 gives us that 700,000. So you can see as we go through the place value, it is 10 times that value to its right. Value to his right, 700,000 times 10 gives us that 7 million. Bit to its right is 7 million. Times 10 gives us this place value of 70 million. Then lastly, this place value or this value of the seven, we look at the position to its right, 70 million, and we multiply that by 10. And that's your 700 million. Okay, now we're going to use the same number with the sevens in each place value to go ahead and look at the second part of the standard value of each place value as one tenth of the value of the place to its left. We're going to go ahead and start with this place value of 70 million. And we're going to look at this place value to the left to see how it compares. The place value to its left is 700 million. This one is 70 million. Okay, for this value, if we look to the left, we see that it's smaller and we wanna see how it compares to the position to its left. If I take a 10th of this value, that gives me the next place value of 70 million. So 700 million times one tenth gives me 70 million. When you multiply anything by a number less than one, you're gonna make that number smaller. As we are going from a greater place value to a smaller place value, it's gonna be a tenth of what it was before. To keep going, the next place value is seven million. That seven million, if I compare it to the position on the left, that is that value times one tenth. It's a tenth of the value to its left. Next one is 700,000. 
at is, looking at how it compares to the place value to the left, it's smaller. So that means it's being multiplied by one tenth. I multiply seven million by one tenth, I get the next place value of that 700,000. So the next place value we have is 70,000. That's 70,000 is 700,000 times one tenth gives you that 70,000. We're gonna keep going, so we have 7,000 next. I'm going to take the place value to its left. It's a larger place value, so I need to multiply it by something less than one. So 70 times one tenth gives me the 7,000. We have 700. That 700 is the 7,000 times one tenth gives you the 700. We go down one more place value by a multiplier of a tenth. And that's going to be 700 times 1 tenth gives you the 70. We're at the 7. Okay, that's 7. I'm going to go ahead and just put the equals. That 7 equals the 70 times 1 tenth. Running out of room. Next place value of a tenth. 7 tenths is going to be that 7 times 1 tenth. And then the last place value for grade four is seven hundredths, which is that seven tenth times a tenth. For example, I used one over 10 to represent a tenth, but you could also use 0 0.1, which also is a tenth. All of these one tenths that I wrote, you could also write it as 0 0.1, one tenth. You could write it as a decimal. Look at these two numbers. There's only one digit that they have in common. They have the digit six in common. Looking at that digit of six, we are not going to compare the value of them. So in this number, the six is in the hundreds place, which is six times 100. In this number, the digit six is in the thousands place. So it is representing six times a thousand. So how does the value of this six compare to the value of this six? This six, which is 600, is smaller than the value of this six. How many times? So remember, we had two multipliers that we were talking about in this video. We're talking about either times 10 or times one tenth. So we're going to see what multiplier do you think we needed to multiply to the 600 to get to the 6,000? Are we going to be multiplying it by 10 to get to 6,000 or by a tenth? Remember, when you multiply by something less than 1, you're going to make, make the value smaller because you're taking part of that number. If I took 600 times 1 tenth, I'm going to be making the value smaller because I'm going to be taking a part of it. Remember, fractions are representing a part of a whole. So we don't want to multiply by 1 tenth in this situation if I'm comparing the value of this one to this one. But to get from the 600 to the 6,000, I'll need to multiply by 10. 6,000 is 10 times as much as 600. You could write that as an equation. You would say 6,000 is in math means equals. So 6,000 is 10 times as much, so 10, 10 times that 600. This one compares to this one because this one's smaller. I wanna see how it compares to a larger place value. So I'm going to take that larger place value so I can see how it compares to it. I'm going to take 6,000 times 1 tenth, and that's going to give me the 600. It's a part of it. 600 is 1 tenth of 6,000. We're going to be looking at the value of a digit, but within the same number. So in this number, we only have one digit that's the same. And so we can only do the 10 times as much and the 1 tenth when the digits are the same we're comparing. We're going to be looking to see how they compare when they're more than one place value to its left or more than one place value to its right. This five is in the tens place, so it is worth 50. This five is in the tenths place, so it is worth 0 0.5. 
Okay, and so you can see the value of this five is greater than the value of this five. Okay, how many times as much is this value than this one? Only looking at the place value of a tenth, to go from this place value to the next place value, it's times 10. Remember, this is our ones place. To go from our ones to our tens, we have to multiply by 10. We're comparing two places to the right. We're multiplying not only by 10, but by another 10. And you know from third grade that 10 times 10 is 100. In this example, the five is 100 times as much the five in this value because it was two place values to the right of it. Okay, so we can write it out. We can write it out as 50 is 100 times as much as 5 tenths. To write that as the equation, 50 is 100 times the 5 tenths. In that example, we were comparing how many times as much the greater place value was to the lesser. Okay, so we're starting with a lesser place value and we're gonna see how it compares to a place value to its left. It is smaller than that place value to its left. So we know that it is gonna have to be a fraction of what that larger place value is. We're gonna be using the multiplier of 1 tenth in this example. So the value of this five, it's in the tenths place, so it is 5 tenths. The value of the 5 in this place value is 50. So I want to see how this number compares to the left. I need to do something to the number to its left to get to this one because I want to see how it compares. I'm going to use the multiplier of 1 tenth because I'm going to a lesser place value. So 50 times 1 tenth gives you that next place value. Okay, we're not looking at the three right now, but it would give you that next place value if it was a five. And then that one times one tenth would give you this next place value. Kind of like the other example, we had to multiply it twice though because we had two place values in between. So that would be one tenth times one tenth. You multiply it, one times one is one, 10 times 10 is 100. If I'm going to compare this one to the two place values to its left, I'm going to say 5 tenths is 1 hundredths of 50. Write it as an equation. 5 tenths is 1 hundredth of the 50. As you're comparing two place values, it can be tricky. I just encourage you to keep practicing. And as you do, just always try to think about, are you comparing a greater value to a lesser value? Or are you comparing a lesser value to a greater value? So comparing a larger place value to a lesser place value times 10. If you're going from a lesser place value to a larger place value to compare times 1 tenth. I thank you so much for joining me in this video and I hope that you learned something new. See you next time. Bye.